Time for the Legal Minute with Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Got Paul Harding here at 1-800-LAW-1010. Morning, Paul. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, so are we getting into like some kind of pri- pr- pr- proprietary, I can't even say the, the tough word, one. <laughs> uh, rights over our internet pictures, Facebook, Instagram? Well, first of all, I had no idea they had such great value, of course. You know, they've got these uh, Instagram photos taken by individuals and then uh, a copy of that picture by uh, this uh, Richard Prince, uh, who is an artist in New York City. He's taking these pictures, he's enlarging them, he's adding some color, making them a little bit different, and he's selling them for as much as $90,000. In fact, he sold a bunch recently. So the question on the table is, are are our Instagram and our photos on social media protected? At this point, Richard Prince thinks they're not. He can go get them, alter them, and sell them. And it's working for him, or what's going to happen? Well, it's working for him, but but here's the thing. You know, it, there, as a general proposition, if you take something that's out there in the social media, you kind of lose your right of privacy. There's no sense that you wanted to keep it private. They didn't come and take a picture of you in your house while you were sleeping. But to now make money on it, the question comes as to whether or not, it's called the fair use doctrine, but whether or not there was it was altered substantially enough to sort of make it a new piece of art. Uh-huh. Um you know, if, if you write something or you take a, a picture or do some sculpt, you know, that is copyright protected without even having to go to the patent office. That's your design. Okay. Mm-hmm. If someone looks at yours and makes some changes to it, they then can try to sell it. So I, I think he's pushing the envelope here. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do know that if you want to fight a copyright infringement, it's expensive, and these individuals probably are not in that position. Do the people get, the people get, don't get any money either? If you sell something for well, 90 grand, he gets all the cash too? <laughs> That would have quieted the story down quite a bit. Yeah, no, they're not getting anything other than uh, they're getting noticed on social media. They're getting lots of hits and, and getting a lot of feedback. But no, uh, this 90000 uh, is going directly to, to Mr. Prince and zero to the folks who posted those pictures. Wow, that's good uh, news because you should see what we did to the picture of you. We just made 60000 <laughs> If it's worth, worth 5000 I accept it. <laughs> right. yeah. So anything to protect ourselves from this? Or probably not, I guess. Well, you just got to keep in mind that once you put something out on social media, not only is it out there then, it's out there forever. And I okay. think that, you know, for practical perspective, I think, you know, young people or, or even older folks do that. And they show up at a job interview and they say, well, I haven't been on Facebook in five years. And some of that information comes back to haunt them. I just think that recognizing that once you put it out there, uh, it's out there and you can't get it back. Just got to let it go. Thank awesome. you. Thanks, Paul. Paul Harding, Martin Harding and Mazzotti Legal Minute, 1-800-LAW-1010. Talk to you soon, Paul. Okay, guys. Thank you.